holidays. Babe, who's coming tomorrow night? Hi, pretty girl. Hi, pretty girl. Good morning from this guy. See you later. This girl. She's got her Magnolia t-shirt on. Anybody watch Fixer Upper? We went to the Magnolia market in Waco when I was pregnant with this little one. Boop, boop, Benny and the Jess. You like your morning song? Yeah. So we're up. We got out of bed finally. Got dressed. Dress this cute one who's watching TV in her little gap outfit that everyone has made fun of because they think it's a crazy face. But I think it's cute and I think it's quirky and it fits her personality. Um, but I want to make some breakfast and then we're going to go run some errands today. Hello again from this girl who's passed out in the car seat. Who needs that passy? I took her with me to get some errands done. We got some Starbucks. They had the holiday um, spice flat white, which is one of my favorite holiday drinks. And I get coconut milk because I can't have dairy, um, or at least I try not to a lot of the times. I got a green jacket um, for me on Black Friday, but realized that I have three olive green jackets. It is my favorite color, but that's a bit much. So I exchanged it for this black one. It'll keep me nice and warm this winter. And then she had a little warm onesie. She has that pink gummy bear one y'all have seen, um, but I got her a gray one initially that was too big. And then I saw this white one today with these adorable little ears. <laughs> so I exchanged that. So we're done at the mall and we're gonna keep running errands. Quick pause on errands because look at those mountains right there. Blurry again, but right there. So much snow up there, but none down here. It is 30 degrees and no snow. I can handle the cold, but there needs to be the white fluffy stuff to make up for it. Anyways, I had to stop there because I remember when we first moved here and we walked out of Target, which is where I am right now, and we saw those mountains as we came out, I knew we were in a special place. So are we in your favorite store ever? Maybe in your favorite store, but this is the best aisle. Candles for days and days and days, but we can't get one yet because we spent too much money. So I am getting her some more onesies. This is what she sleeps in. She's growing out of her other ones. Yeah. Deodorant, shaving cream, shampoo, bananas. The basics. I think we have more errands and we might meet Colby for lunch, but we'll see. Yeah. We are also going to get a measuring tape so we can get this girl's measurements. I think she's a little bigger than that. I just talked to my mom who's trying to make her a Christmas dress, um, but the standard sizes don't work when you're making it from scratch. She's in between sizes, so we're gonna get some actual measurements of her and send to my mom. So stay tuned for a few weeks from now when we get her Christmas outfit. So hey guys, we were just in Target and I was at the checkout line paying, got distracted. Her bow was over her eyes like this and this sweet, sweet woman came up and said, do you mind? She's struggling. And she fixed her bow for me. I tell you this because it takes a village. Well, change of plans. Um, didn't happen too often, but Colby's work, um, it's very flexible, but sometimes can be unpredictable with the meetings he has to go in. So instead of being able to come out to eat with us, he has to stay in. So I offered to go get some food and Old Faithful. Right here, Chick-fil-A never disappoints. We're kind of bummed because we really wanted to see him, but um, only three more hours to place off work. But true story, literally always starts crying in the Chick-fil-A parking lot. Seriously, I don't know why. I mean, she does like for the car to keep going, but if we stop, um, sometimes she'll cry. I've never been through Chick-fil-A without her talking or crying or something. <laughs> and now there's silence. I think we have achieved a new milestone. She can put her own passy back in. I'm just so proud. I used to think I wanted her to be a thumb sucker. Um, well, there's kind of the debate on thumb sucking versus pacifier. I'm like, whatever it takes 
Um, we waited three weeks to introduce a pacifier just to make sure that she was nursing really well and wasn't getting confused, um, which I know is not always the case for everyone, but that's what we chose. She's love, loving her pacifier, but she also loves to suck her thumb. So um, my thing is, in the middle of the night, down the road, if she needs to soothe herself, she knows how to suck her thumb, but also you can take away a passy where you can't take away your thumb. That'd be kind of weird. Whatever she wants to do, I'm good with. I'm just happy on this car ride that she figured out how to put it back in. So, wife confession. Whenever we order food, Colby's pretty healthy, but he usually gets fries and I usually get a fruit cup or a salad for my side, which means I always have to steal one. The problem is, now that we're vlogging, he has to know all my dirty secrets, but that's fine. I hope you're watching this, babe. I'm enjoying the heck out of your fries. When you edit this, don't come wake me up. Just know that it's okay. And that it was a very loving act of kindness for you to give me one of your fries. <laughs> well, that was our drive-by food drop-off since he had to rush back into the meeting. You had to sneak out, grab his food, and run. We just got back from getting Chick-fil-A and she had another blowout. I don't know why, but it gave us an excuse to change outfits and put her I Heart New York shirt on. Yes, it did. She's like, take me back. Look at those baby blues right there. So we're gonna go read, gonna hang out. Catch you later. This is you. Are you gonna roll over? Oh my gosh, you just rolled over. Oh my gosh, baby. Did you just roll over? Are you gonna do it again? Oh, are you just gonna pause? You just did it again, baby! <gasps> I'm so proud! Alright guys, so we are going to Cafe Rio. It's one of our favorite spots here in Salt Lake. Um, there's not a lot of good Mexican places, but Cafe Rio is, is pretty amazing. I mean, let's just say two words. Sweet pork! We used to get queso back in Nashville, white queso, but we cannot find that anywhere here. Leave in we, the comments if you know what he's talking about. White, white queso from the south is really not Mexican food, but they have it at all the Mexican restaurants. It was really good. We usually don't eat out. I think last night we ate out, I don't remember. We've been eating out a lot. But with going to New York and some of the trips we've been on, uh, friends and family coming in town, we don't want to get groceries. So we're gonna keep eating out. And it's kind the when in Rome thing. Like, when you're on vacation, meaning when people come visit you, you're on vacation. Yeah. You eat like crap. We've been on vacation for like the last three weeks. It's great. We're gonna have another four weeks of vacation. <laughs> it's the holiday. Oh, we're excited. The holiday. She does this. <laughs> I got the nachos tonight. So good. What'd you get, Emma? Well, whatever's left. I get the tostada. It's smaller than the big salad, and the mint limeade is the best. Babe, who's coming tomorrow night? Grammy and Grandpa. Your dad. Well, not your dad, but his dad. <laughs> so, guys, my dad's coming tomorrow night. You'll get to meet him. Uh, my dad and stepmom, they're coming to see Sage for the first time. What are we gonna do with him? I know they, she loves this um, cafe in Park City because they have the best tea ever. Um, so we'll probably go there Sunday. Um, we'll get our tree and do Christmas decorations. Andrew and Hannah are coming back. Can we get dessert? So I broke and we are now getting dessert. She won. Always do. Usually. Okay, not true, but a lot of times. Usually she does, but we are going to seize. Free truffles when you walk in the door. One of the main reasons we go, we get a free truffle because we're cheap. So we got a second sample. And Emily put the second one in her pocket. It's like Napoleon Dynamite when he puts the tots in his pocket. Luna 
and I are gonna close out the vlog. We just put Sage down for bed for the night and I'm probably gonna go to bed too because I'm pretty tired, but we'll see if that's possible because our basement guys are still downstairs. Um, the deadline is this Friday, so they are working um, late every night this week to get it done because they know we have family coming in town. So hopefully we all get some sleep tonight. But tonight, tonight, this, this vlog right here, this is the last chance to comment down below what questions you want to know about Colby, myself, Luna, Sage, our home, anything you want to know. Put it down in the comments below and we will take a look at it and our Q&A will go up Friday. Until then, like, comment, subscribe, we'll catch you later. The main thing is to hang out. The main thing is to hang out. <laughs> the main thing is to hang out. What song? <laughs> what was that? There's someone coming.